right, so I've owned this thing for about a week. First impressions, I'm in love. I'm in absolute love with this little, you know, go-kart green bean. Oh my God. It, honestly, it's it's just been fantastic. It's It's just a blast to drive. Love the, I love the shifter. Uh, the engine mounts definitely help. Getting from second to third can be a little tricky sometimes, uh, but the motor mounts again help with that. So if you own one of these guys stock, I do recommend the motor mounts. Uh, if you watched the first video, that's like kind of the one downside I was talking about because the previous owner did install some aggressive motor mounts. I'm not even sure what they are, so I'll have to get in there and take a look. But they do cause a lot of vibrations low in the RPM range, so specifically at idle, which can be pretty annoying, I'm not gonna lie. But it's not too bad. I kinda like it now, it's kinda quirky. It's like I'm in an old V8 vehicle. Let's do another pull then. If this car just had a higher rev range, oh my god. I actually heard, I read this comment on Reddit, who knows if it's true. It was from a Ford mechanic, again, who knows if it's true. But they were talking about the fact that they think that they kept the rev range at six and a half, because if they, if they put it any higher, it would have been just as fast, if not faster, than the Focus ST. And in terms of like their, you know, categorizing vehicles, they wanted their Focus ST, the more expensive vehicle, to be faster. And that's why it stops at 6.5. But it's okay, because you can do some tunes that can, I, I don't know what it goes up to, I think 7.5 maybe? But if this thing revved out to 8,000 RPM, it would just be a, an absolute monster. It already is. Very good on gas. Right now, gas is so expensive. And this thing was, very cheap to fill, very happy about that with, with the rising gas prices. I think it's 60 bucks for premium, full uh, from empty to full. And that's in Canada, so I don't know what that is in American right now, probably 50 bucks. Not too shabby, probably a little less, 45. Interior, first impressions, the Recaro seats are fantastic. Easily, easily the best seats I've ever had and it's not even close. Uh, my GTI had some really nice seats, but you definitely had some, you definitely moved around and squirmed around in those bad boys. I'd say the second best seats I've had were from my Civic Si, eighth, genera eighth generation. But these car, these seats are fantastic. The Recaros, if you're getting a Fiesta, get the Recaros. You're not gonna regret it. Even if you have to pay a couple extra bucks, they are definitely worth it. I'm gonna try to include some more actual shots of the vehicle, because I kind of realized in my my last video, I didn't get a lot of good shots of the exterior. Unfortunately, we got the winter tires on still with the steelies. I'm gonna puke. But, like I mentioned, they're not gonna be on there for too long. So it's all good. Okay, let's do a pull here. Ah, oh, great. It pulls so well. This thing is just a little rocket. And again, you still have a cop tune on this bad boy and it gains instant power. I'm so excited for that. But overall, I am definitely completely satisfied, especially compared to the GTI. Now, the GTI was way more damping, the suspension was way more comfortable, but that wasn't really the point of me getting this car. I didn't really care for the ride. I wanted the performance, the fun factor, and this thing just delivers. It, checks out, it just checks off every box. And it, it just shocks me that these things have depreciated the way they have because with all they offer and they even have practicality this thing has four doors and a hatch they're depreciating like crazy and they're more reliable than the focus and they're not going to be making they're not going to be making any cars like this anymore well from america i think the only other really competitors you can get at the moment are you know mini coopers I love Mini Coopers, so I'm gonna pass on them because of the because of the reliability, uh, the Barth, and again reliability issues off the board right there, and then of course the GTI. But this thing is kind of in its own category in North America at least.
Anyways, I wish we had some of the Euro options some of you guys might have. This thing is just so fun to downshift. It handles corners just unbelievably well. I just cannot wait to take this into the track and have some real fun. Let's go. <laughs> that was a good turn. And so far, I just can't stop driving it. If you can't stop driving your car, you know you got a good car. It's as simple as that. I even started playing Forza, where I made a green bean on their build, which I'm trying to rip around and get good with. But funny enough, I was actually looking at a couple cars I really love when buying this car. I, again, I sold my Crosstrek, so this is my second vehicle. Hey, one second, I'm gonna do it with them. I'm gonna rip around these corners real quick. the piped in noise but I don't mind it at all chef's kisses oh fo hey brother so I know the Fiesta ST. I never even see Fiesta STs. They're so rare. And it just blows my mind. And I am so deeply saddened that these cars are gone. These cars are just, they just bring so much enjoyment. <laughs> I've only owned this car for a week and I'm just so excited to drive again. start with the blow-up valve I know obviously Cobb would be the probably pro, you know the, the most cost-effective way to get power and have fun but I really just want to hear that <laughs> turbo smarter and if any of you guys are out there who own Fiesta SCs definitely let me know what uh, blow-up valve or mods you're running because Obviously, Tur Turbo Smart is probably the most popular one, but I don't know. I'm open. I'm open to any of them. So excited! We're, we're we're currently in the process of planning a BC mountain trip, the Rocky Mountains, and this thing's just gonna be a blast to drive. I'm so looking forward to that. But yeah, guys. Anyways, first impressions of week one of owning this thing are fantastic. They have even surpassed all my expectations. And considering that I've watched every video on YouTube about these cars, it's kind of surprising. Yeah. But if you own one of these guys and have any suggestions, definitely comment down below. Or if, you, or if you're looking to buy one and have some questions, comment down below. I will definitely answer. Thanks for watching, guys.